pad here. Dead things and the hideous horror on how. This year I've decided that my uh, electronics are at the level where I can integrate them together. Uh, I always knew that the system had the capability to do that, uh, but now um, the caliber of the electronics and, um, and the experience that I now have haunting outside in this, in this, uh, this climate, uh, I now feel confident that I'm able to um, build a complete show out of these very simple components. Um, so I'm going to put out this, uh, this uh, three-part series um, to kind of illustrate um, what I am doing here. The first two pieces will um, focus on the electronic systems. The first two in the first segment will be the witch's system and the, my skull and my raven, their system. Uh, the second will be uh, the central yard control system. And then the third will be how I'm going to integrate those all together. So let's start with the witch box. So I have already done a video outlining um, the box that rules them all and uh, how I get my two witches to uh, have a conversation back and forth. So I'm not going to go in too much into depth with this. Um, what I'm going to just kind of show is a quick outline of the major components and um, and some of the key players. <clears throat> so he uses two of Hallstaff and Haunt Hackers Pickaxe 18M2 Frankenstein boards. These are uh, easily programmable by push button and um, and trim pots for all the movements of the servos and then of course the, uh, it has a Scary Terry style uh, jaw circuit driver. Also there's a couple other boards that play some, uh, some other uh, roles in here but they aren't important for this video. This is the one that is. So this is a PCB version of a project board that I'd originally built. And the key player in this is this Pickaxe 18M2. So what this does is this is what controls all of these MP3 players here. And it also takes the some of the triggers and also is capable of doing send and receive through here. And that's important in this video. It also sends a signal to this, which is the Brunswick, the Flying Witch, her control board. And this uses two more of the Pickaxe 18M2 CHI 030 boards. Are you noticing a pattern develop? So what this does is these boards allow this microcontroller 5 volt microcontroller to use this Darlington driver to switch on 12 volt devices. So whether that 12 volt be a pneumatic solenoid or a LED or a motor or a relay. So that's what these guys do. So this one controls the Brunswick's RGB lights, our eyes and um, her head turn movement and this one controls the solenoid movements or the uh, solenoids for the flying. You see on the front of these guys that I'm very fond of RCAs. Easy to use, easy to manipulate in, in cold weather. Um, everybody has a bunch of them lying around. So on the front of this, or on one side of this, we have audio out for Thunder and Cauldron, 
this is the trigger so this is what starts the whole show rolling this one right here we have lights out for uh, Brunswick or not Brunswick uh, Agatha and Gretchen this these lights turn on and off through their uh, their uh, ch uh, spell casting and chance this is 12 volts 5 volts in ground and this is send and receive send and receive that is how we control this whole show from there we go to the raven and the skull craven and crania very simple very simple design so this is the box does kind of look like spaghetti. I have to have these leads long in order to be able to remove the lid from the box. On this side is a power bar into which all of the uh, the wall warts are, that power the boards are plugged into. This uses two of Hallstaff's Pickaxe 14M2 Frankenstein boards. But that is its overlord. And that again is one of Hallstaff's EZ6 boards that uses a pickaxe 08M2. As you can tell, I'm very fond of pickaxe. Why? Because they're simple to work with and they work. So, this here is the send and receive. Let's see, trace it out. And down through the hole. And that is it, right there. So those are two of the three systems that I will be using in the show portion of the uh, haunt. Uh, if you want, please go to part two where I will outline the central overlord and uh, my yard haunt control. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.